What's up, bro? This is Jay Lewis, checking in live. I'm jumping off the porch with Dirty Glove Bowser. I'm out here doing pretty good for myself. A nigga came a long way. A double cup, I pour a four, cause I done had a long day. She all right, so we got our boy Jay Lewis jumping off the porch with us today. Welcome, what up, bro. Dog? What's up, bro? Man. I've been trying to get here for a, a minute now. For sure, man. But, you know, here now, man. So yeah, we perfect here. timing, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we got a lot to talk about. I see you got the new situation and everything. Got the new video out. Tape about to drop. So, like yeah. I said, I feel like this is perfect timing for you right yeah, now. Yeah, for sure. It's, it, it got some structure to it now, so I'm ready to roll. Nah, that's as good, man. So first off, yeah. how we feeling today, man? How does it feel to be in Atlanta also? Feel good, bro. I ain't been here in a minute. Bro. Yeah. Yeah, I'm loving it, bro. You in and out with it, or are you out here promoing? You shooting? Uh, you what, what you doing while you're in the city, I probably, bro? I probably be out here like I really want to move out here. You know okay. what I'm saying? But I'll probably be back and forth like every week, every other week now. Yeah. You know. Now this is the place to be with this music. For sure, man. You already yeah. know that. Like this networking city, like, you know what for I'm sure, saying? Man. So for sure. Yeah, so, you know, let's tap into the story, man. So, you're from Baton Rouge. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's Scotlandville, is that yeah. right? Yeah, you know it, yeah. You, I think you're the only one. Were you in, is YBZ from there, too? YBZ and Tech. Okay, Tech's from there, too? Yeah. Okay. So, I need you to put me on, man. Like, what, yeah. what was it like coming up in Scotlandville, man? It's like every other, every other place, you know what I'm saying? I can't say no story that ain't been heard before, you know, so. Yeah. Just, uh, I don't know, though, but Scotlandville is different, though, because out of all the generations and stuff, me, WAP, and Tick, we like the only three people to ever really make it on a large platform, like, you know what I'm saying, and really do something with this rap stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Why would you say it's so hard to make it out of, uh, out of the neighborhood then? Um, there's not really no outlets. Like, we ain't got no radio station that just play like your stuff in there to blow you up. So it's really like what you do on your own. Hmm. And a lot of people don't really have social skills. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like you so used to growing up in the hood and living a certain way, you just be always on defense mode. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, you when you go places and you try to network with people and stuff, you know, you feel like somebody talking to you the wrong way or hmm. they not really listening to you. So you take that street stuff and you try to bring it in this world and it's not like that. Like, nah, you know what I'm real. saying? So I feel like that's just one of the points. Like then, like I said, no outlets. Like we ain't got no major platforms though. Mm -hmm. uh, you know what I'm saying? Or no big old rappers or something that's reaching in and grabbing other, other coming people. You know? Yeah. Yeah. And your neighborhood, that's on the north side of Baton Rouge. Yes, yeah, north okay. side. Okay. Yeah, okay. North Baton Rouge. Yeah. Do you feel like there's a big difference between North Baton Rouge and South Baton Rouge, or is it all the same at the end of the day, man? I can't say that because. South Baton Rouge is way different than any other part of Baton Rouge because, you know, they got like LSU. Uh, they got a lot of places. South Baton Rouge is big. It's like majority of Baton Rouge, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So, like, we just kind of like, if you, you want to put South Baton Rouge, it's like, they got a lot of, a lot of mixed people, like white people, black people. You know what I'm saying? We ain't got too much of that. Like, Scotlandville was like a black city, like, you know what I'm saying, decades ago. It was one of the first black cities and shit, like doctors and shit started. They moved there and created their own city. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of just a little smaller than everywhere else. I got gotcha. you. So, yeah. Do you feel like the neighborhood's changed much since you were younger up until today? Or? Yeah, bro. I don't see no kids outside no more, bro. For real? It, when I was little, there used to be like 40 bikes outside, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, it was ain't riding this. bikes no yeah, more, man. ain't doing none of that. Like, I ain't, we ain't have, well, we had YouTube. That's when they ain't had no ads or nothing on it. Like, nah, you getting paid from it. We wasn't getting none of that back then. Nah, for real. Yeah. So when would you say you jumped off the porch all the way? I, I don't think I was ever on it. Oh. <laughs> real talk, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I say since about nine, bro. I've been paying bills for a long time. Like, you know what I'm saying? I've been the man of the house. So hmm. I just been in it forever. Like, seemed like, yeah. yeah. You got any siblings? Yeah, I got uh, on my daddy's side, my daddy Haitian. He from Alabama, from Birmingham. I got okay. like uh, 14 sisters and one brother. Oh, shit. Yeah, and on my mama's side, it's just me and my sister. Me and her 15 years apart, she older than me. Oh, wow. Yeah. So it was just pretty much you and your mom growing up uh, in the house together and your sister? Uh, yeah, my sister, you okay. know what I'm saying? So and then like my grandma used to be around and stuff before she died. So that was really it. Our yeah. family, they be beefing all the time. So I barely really see everybody. And For then real? like, so. I was born in Georgia. I was born in Austell, Georgia. Moved oh, for out, real? Yeah. Right down the street then? Yeah, moved out here, moved to BR when I was about three. Hmm. So a lot of my people in 
but my daddy from Alabama. Yeah. So I got people spread it from Baton Rouge to Alabama to Texas to everywhere. So I'm just starting to meet some of my cousins and shit. Like, oh, for real? Yeah, like, I be meeting somebody, like my homeboy Quincy, I was knowing a dude for like 10 years. We, we was hanging out every day. My uncle ended up dying mm -hmm. and his people was going to the, the same funeral my mama was going to for her brother. And I found out that his grandma and my grandma were sisters. That's wild. And I never knew that. I've been hanging out with dude every day. That's crazy. <laughs> like, yeah, like Louisiana small. Yeah. Yeah. That's why you always be hearing stories about people hitting their cousins and shit, like <laughs> having babies and shit with their cousins, because you never know. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's wild right there, man. So you mentioned, you know, becoming the man of the house, paying bills at a young age. Mm -hmm. Like, were you prepared for that? Or were you kind of just thrown into that situation? Uh, it kind of just happened, bro. I don't think you ever really be prepared for shit like that. Like, it just be an experience thing. Like, you know, you're just like, huh, take this. Like, you know, you, it's, it's, you obligated to do it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because what you're going to do is see your mama fail. Like, you know what I'm saying? Or see the household go down. You know, so I feel like you just got to take on that responsibility. Like, mm -hmm. you know. What yeah. would you, and what would you say were like some of the trials and tribulations you've gone through in your life so far, you know? That you had to overcome for it to be able to make it on the porch Boy, today. uh, learning how to manage money. Hmm. That's the biggest thing ever, bro. Learning how to manage money. Because you can have all this money saved up, but if you ain't got no money instead of coming in and you dishing it out, you're going to be like, damn, where it went? Like, you know what I'm saying? Just trying to do little different stuff, have little side hustles and stuff. Like, yeah, you might rap, but you might want to get you something else on the, oh, yeah. on the back, you know what I'm saying? To start you a paint company or something small. It ain't got to be like no real estate or no dump trucks. Everybody ain't into that shit, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Like, a lot of people be like, well, if I had that money, I'd give me a dump truck, or I'd give me some houses. Like, no, you wouldn't. That shit like, expensive. That shit, yeah, that shit high. It's other fees and shit that they don't tell you about. Yep. You buy some property, that shit don't even really be your property. Like, you still paying money on it. So, like, niggas always be saying what they gonna do, but no, you wouldn't. <laughs> nah, for real. <laughs> real talk. Now, were you the type that was like splurging a lot of money, like you making big purchases, or was it just going to like, you know, bills and just life expenses at that? Yeah, I, that's what my money go to, like bills and life expenses. I might treat myself every now and then. I mean, I bought a Jeep when I was 17. Okay. But that was really like the biggest thing I bought. Yeah. Yeah. Because, uh, yeah, like you're saying, man, it's important that financial literacy, because, you know, when I was going to school, they, they weren't teaching that shit. They, they didn't teach you how to fucking save money. It. Yeah, none of that. Yeah, you kind of just got to figure it out as you go, man. Yeah. Unless you got, like, you know, your pops and some OGs in the game, that kind of... That's how a lot of people be winning, bro. Like, because their mama be piggybacking them on credit. So when they get out of high school, <laughs> that's how y'all be getting them haircuts and shit. Talking about y'all be hustling and shit. No. Your credit already your built credit, up. Your credit was built, built up. See, that's the difference between a lot of people. Like, when you grow up like I did, like, when you get fucking 18, you're going to have Cox Cable bills. <laughs> AT&T bills, T-Mobile bills and shit in your name, you're going to be in debt before you make 18. Because <laughs> mama didn't put all these bills in your name and they pay these bitches. Like, <laughs> that'd be the difference. Yeah, it's like you're starting behind already. Already, so, yeah, yeah so you got to get ahead. Nah, for real. So did you go to college after school or? Hell no. I ain't like high school. For real. I finished that because of my mama. She wanted me to. That was one of her biggest okay. things. She wanted me to get a diploma. But I was like, hell no, after this, like, I barely made it out of there. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck that. I want to go back though. I want to get a business degree. Okay. Even, yeah. I feel like I feel like I jumped in the game and I learned more about it. So now I'm interested in it. So I feel like I'll go now. But I had to take an online class though. So because yeah. I can't go, I can't do no school. I can't have nobody telling me what to do. I can't do. <laughs> it's never it. too late to go to school though, man. That's yeah, the good thing about this shit. Man. Dad, they got the computers though. You can do it online. I ain't got to be real. in front of nobody's face. Somebody yelling at me, telling me to wake up and shit like. Yeah. So you got your start in the music game by being a DJ, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, I've been DJ since I was 11. 11? Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, like, that was the first thing I jumped into. Huh. Yeah. What inspired that? Was there, like, a certain DJs that you looked up to, or are you just, like, you just always known as being the person with the new music type shit? Or? Hell no. I stole a laptop from my social studies <laughs> teacher. And from the like, teacher? Yeah, I used to steal. Like, I used to be that nigga that steal your phone and help you look for it, like, <laughs> that type of shit. That was before iPhones had all the fucked up locks on them and yeah. shit. When you could just hit the button and then hook it up to the iTunes and hit restore. Oh, yeah, yeah. he was good to go. Oh, hell yeah, I was stealing everybody's shit. Then I just stole the laptop. I got my mama to get some internet, and I was just downloading shit. I downloaded Virtual DJ, hmm. and that shit had started from there. 
Uh, I met these DJ. I had summer school. I had failed uh, sixth grade. They had these DJs and shit. They had like a little pep rally for summer school. Yeah. And I'm like, damn, that shit tight. I'm like, I got the I got the uh, the app on my computer already. So I walked up to dude. I'm like, man, I want to learn that. He like, man, you don't want to learn it. I'm like, man, for real, teach me. So he was like, man, come with me this weekend. Shit, that was the first dude to put like seven hundred dollars in my pocket in sixth grade. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, hmm. middle school, that's a lot of fucking money, money. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I was rich. Like, so like every weekend he was throwing these high school parties, and he just put me on with that. So I just grew up with a lot of people in Baton Rouge, like old and young, because I've been doing it. Yeah. I was in the clubs before anybody. You that's know what it. I'm saying? So that's how I just kind of got my got my name. Yeah. Yeah. So at what point did you make that transition to start rapping? Were you always one of like, you was freestyling around too? Or? Uh, you know, everybody always be freestyling and shit, but it was a point where everybody was in jail. Hmm. Boosie was in jail, Mr. was in jail, uh, Kevin Gates was in jail. Everybody was just fucking locked up. Hmm. And I'm like, damn, music seemed dry. And I just wanted to try some shit and I tried it and it worked. Because I know how to break music as being a DJ. Oh yeah, and like it's kind of like a cheat code. It's kind of a cheat code. Like you know how to make beats and you know how to you know you, know, you get to see the crowd's reaction. Yeah, when you spin it to shit. different shit, so you know what they want. Mm -hmm. So I made some shit. I broke it at this high club I was DJing it uh, called Vibes, mm -hmm. and it started from now. What was the first song that kind of took off for you? Uh, the first one was Get Your Ass Beat. Okay. Yeah, that was the first big record I started pushing. Yeah. It, it started gaining traction like fast as fuck. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Did it come to a no, point? No, you know what? I'm lying. I, I started pushing two at the same time. I started pushing Ain't My Wrong okay. with Tekken Main, and I started pushing Get Your Ass Be With Me and YBs. Okay. Yup. I had them two. Both of them shits went crazy, bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah. I did that shit, bro. I ain't have no team. I ain't never really had no team like that. Like, I always been winging it. Like, I feel like not different, though, because I got a team behind me, you know what I'm saying? Kind of taking it serious, mo. Yeah. Yeah. I just wanted some structure. Like I never had that before. So that's how I'm going into this new situation. Yeah. So yeah, get yeah. your ass beat. You and BZ, you and yeah. Wap, man. Did you and Wap like grow up together or was he a little yeah. older than you or? I grew up with like damn near all of all the top rappers right now, like I went to school with Tech, middle school, elementary. Uh we didn't go to high school together. Wap, middle school. I went to Scotlandville High together. Then I transferred. I, I went to stay with my sister for a minute. She stayed in, in Baker, Louisiana. That's where I met Fredo, uh, G Money. Uh, who else I met? Oh, I went to school with Funny Mike. All of us was in the same class and shit together. That yes. shit wild when you think about it. So man. I used to just transfer back and forth every, every semester. First uh -huh. semester, I go to Scotlandville, second, I go to Baker. But they right down the street from each other. Okay. Yeah, so I go from mama's sister, mama's sister. Then I got a car and it was over with. <laughs> I just was I was fucking transferring every every other week then because it's easy all you got to do is fill out this slip like you know what I'm saying like your address and shit so I found the cheat code for it so I was just switching schools whenever I felt like back and forth yeah yeah so did you know how to monetize your music right away or did that take a while for you to learn that that happened like in the last I always had an idea about it but I ain't never know how serious it was and stuff you had to do copyright and all that mm -hmm. stuff until like maybe Three and a half years ago. Oh, for real? Yeah. Oh, shit. It, it, it take a minute to learn the business, though. Yeah. Because, you know, especially when you're just dropping shit on YouTube, the shit be blowing up. A lot of people drop it on, like, the director's channel, so they not yeah. even getting paid. Like, the director nah. banking off that shit. Yeah, yeah, and he not going to say nothing. Nope, he ain't going to say a saying? word to you. So, he going to be like, let's shoot another one. Yeah, so <laughs> I started, uh, they had these dudes that was telling me, like, we'll shoot your video, but we got to put it on our channel. And... We got to upload it on iTunes and oh, shit. shit like that. Like, they was all the way in it, like, trying to get everything. Like, you know what I'm saying? When you ask them about something, they, like, get mad. Shit, like, man, don't ask me about that. What you mean? It's like my song. Nah, for you real. Put, how you going to put my shit on your channel and not tell, tell me what's going on? Yeah. Like, they got niggas like that, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they prey on, like, the new artists that don't know nothing they either, don't, too. They don't, because it take a minute to learn the business. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So we getting booked for shows, uh, you know, right after them two songs started taking off for you? Immediately. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, I had a manager named Jay Dirty. He was also uh, Mr. K manager. Mm -hmm. yeah. He passed away. You knew Dirty? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, Dirt. Man, me and Dirt was full force with it, bro. Like, okay. Dirt had me a show every day. That's like, it. you know what I'm saying? Like, I was getting consistent show money for years. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we was everywhere. 
yeah. Mississippi, Louisiana, Arkansas, uh, Texas, everywhere. Yeah. I done hit every city ever, like every city <laughs> fucking with Dirty, bro. Yeah. Yeah, I miss my boy, man. Yeah, yeah, me too, bro. Yeah. So is that how you locked in with Mr. or did you know him before that? Mr. my cousin. Oh, for real? Yeah. Here we go again. Yeah. Bad Bruce being <laughs> small you know what I'm saying? But I ain't, I always knew Mr. but Mr. my cousin. Okay. Like, you know what I'm saying? We found that out about five months ago. About four, five, five months ago? Five months ago, for real? Y'all been rocking so heavy for all these years. He was though. with his mama and I was with my mama and they seen each other and they was like, oh, no, no, no. And then they was like, oh, remember when y'all used to do this together? And like, I don't remember that, but. <laughs> All right, and they started pulling out the old photo books and shit. So for real, like y'all was kids, yeah, like kids, like he older than me though. Yeah, he's yeah. just a couple years older than me, but still, yeah. That's wild. Right? It's crazy, yeah. bro. Yeah. I might have a lot of cousins. I don't even know. <laughs> I ain't meet him yet. Y'all interviewed Snug yet? Mm -mm. Snug from Baton Rouge. That's my cousin too. He for my real? first cousin. Oh shit! God damn. Sick yeah. Really, it's my man. Yeah, for real. Oh, <laughs> um, so how does the situation with Cash Money come about? When did they reach out to you? Uh, what that was, 2019. Okay. I had these managers. Uh, well, I had one manager. He was managing. I was locked in with this videographer from Baton Rouge named Cool, and he was managing him. And he, they was on the phone one day, and Cool told the manager, he was like, "Yeah, I'm in here with Jay Lewis." He was like, "Oh, I know this. I know that name. Dude was from South Carolina." So like anybody that know me from like out of state and shit, like I be getting happy about that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, damn, you know me, you stay way out there. Yeah. You know, he's like, yeah, I know all your stuff. He dropped this first, he dropped this first. Like he knew my whole catalog, everything, sure. like the whole timeline. He started managing me, uh, jammed me in with Juvenile. Juvenile took a liking to me. Okay. I'm in a situation with cash money. Uh, I don't really want to go into full detail about it, but the managing situation didn't go right. Mm. It's like a lot of things, like first time deals. So everything just kind of crumbled apart. That's it. But you know, everybody went their separate ways. Yeah. So it was fun while it lasted though. Yeah. It Did you cool. hit the road with them a lot or? Nah, I really was just, I stayed, I moved to Miami for like two and a half years. Okay, uh, yeah. I really was just working them whole two and a half years, bro. Just really getting better. You know what I'm saying? I was writing a lot of songs for a lot of people. Hmm. Uh, just doing a lot of work. Just, that's all. I ain't shooting no videos and nothing. I was in the studio literally like for two and a half years every day. Oh, shit. Yeah. What was it like writing for other artists? Did that come natural for you or? Yeah, cause um, you know, a lot of people be like, well, they put their stuff in somebody else's shoes to write for them, but I just write. Like, and if you, just, you can go through these songs and if you fuck with one of them, then just take it. Like, you know yeah. what I'm saying? You gonna relate to one of them. You know, I just, I, I ain't too much changed nothing, but it came natural. Yeah. Yeah. It was a lot of reference track situations. Like, you know what I'm saying? People okay. would be like, oh, well, this song you got called, we want that one. Or mm -hmm. like, you know, they'll send it back to me and shit. Yeah, get the paperwork right, pay me. Like, it was cool. I was That's still good making, money in yeah, that Yeah, it was too, good money. Man. Yeah, yeah, for money forever. Like, you know what I'm saying? Them chicks come in. Oh yeah, you get your pub on that yeah, shit. Yeah, for man. sure. Yeah, so <laughs> that I ain't complaining. So what, what do you do after Miami? Do you move back home to BR or? I moved to, uh, I moved to Dallas, bro. I really? never had a job before ever in my life. Huh. So I did some shit when I was bored. Like I just got tired of sitting at the house and shit just cause it was like a dry time after Miami. Hmm. Cause it kind of was like, I lost a lot of motion just being there, not putting nothing out. You know what I'm saying? I still had the fans, but I was so fucking bored, bro. I went and got like a warehouse job. I did that shit for like two months. But I was getting paid like $25 an hour and I was oh, getting shit. paid every week to do nothing. And then I ain't <laughs> Just know, to show up, right? Yeah, so look, they got this thing. I applied to be a forklift driver. Yeah. So I was just rounding up. They had this African dude taught me how to change the code on this bitch. So I'm doing like fucking 25 up and down the aisle, spinning this bitch <laughs> and shit. Like, and then you be on a six month probation period. So you still get paid, you can't do no wrong for six months. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So them two months, I was just really just riding the fuck left. Like, fuck it up. Yeah, the lunch break should have come. I forget I was at work and be in the car sleep for hours and shit. I ran out of gas in the parking lot one day doing that shit. Just having the car running? Man, it was 12 o'clock, dog. I went out there for lunch. I woke up, it was like 6.30, everybody was gone. I was on <laughs> the, the parking lot, no gas. No one was It started getting hot, nothing? that's why I woke up. Yeah. I was in that bitch sweating bullets. <laughs> I never had a job before, so I just wanted to experience that, though. 
<laughs> I ain't need it. Advantage. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, it was the first. It will be the last, too. I ain't yeah. doing that shit no more. No, that, that's funny right there, man. So, man, talk about your fans, because, you know, your fans is like kind of like a cult-like fan base, you know? Like, they ride so. or die with you shit, man. Yeah, I got it. It be a lot of old people, too. Like, <laughs> all right, like, you know how the kids be at home watching YouTube all day. So, you know, you got the mamas and the daddies, like, learning the TikTok dances and shit like that. Yeah. So, like, I really get a lot of older people that be like, oh, I love your shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? I see my grandbaby watching on the TV all day. So, that's how I kind of get, like, this little mix. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm just a cool ass dude, bro. So, I think people just take a liking to me. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I don't be trying to fit in and then I just be being me. Like, with the songs and everything. Like, you know, I just be being myself. Like, Niggas be talking about killing and doing all this, but it's way more to life than just that all the time. Like, it's cool to laugh. Some niggas be too gangster to laugh, bro. Yeah. Like, cheer up. <laughs> now, that's one thing that really sticks out with your music is, like, you let your personality shine. Yeah, you for know sure. what I'm saying? Like, a lot of your funds have more of a fun element than, like, a violence gangster image to Yeah, them. like, that ain't me. That ain't me. That ain't the image I'm trying to push on people, you know what I'm saying? I just be having fun with it. I just want niggas to know that you can still have fun making music, like, yeah. you, you know. Yeah, yeah, so that that leads me to the I Hope record, man. Right. So talk about the inspiration when you actually recorded this song, man. It wasn't none. <laughs> it wasn't I just none. was like, my dog, my dog Diz was making a beat. I'm like, man, I'm going to make a, a song wishing bad shit on people. At first it was like, I wish. And then I got the I Hope in my head, and I started running with that. I'm like, all right, I hope, I hope, I hope. I started running with it. I just started saying whatever came to my mind. I put that shit out, and like a week later, it had like 600,000 plays on uh, SoundCloud. I put it on SoundCloud first. Okay. Uploaded to YouTube, and like within a month, it had like 1.5 million. Like God that shit damn. blew up. So that first royalty check, I uploaded it myself. Yeah. So that first check, I was like, damn. Because I wasn't uploading all my other shit. Like I had this other dude helping me. You know what I'm saying? Really fucking over me. So <laughs> when real, I finally man. uploaded that one, they got past all the ones that he uploaded. <laughs> like I seen the money, I'm like, damn. So that's when I went and learned about the business for it. You know okay. what I'm saying? And I'm like, damn, if I made this off this, I got all this. I need to, you know, what happened to this? That's when you learn about recouping. Mm -hmm. But that's when niggas go to saying recouping. But how could you recoup something that you never spent? For real, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So basically you're telling me you're jacking me. <laughs> you know what I'm Real saying? Shit. So he was somewhere in them I Hope lyrics too. So huh. he was a little motivation. <laughs> just motivation. a little bit, I guess, yeah. So I did have some inspiration for it. Yeah. If you read the comments, like a lot of people's like, man, if you're going through a bad breakup, this is your song, right? That'd be here. the most, that'd be the top comment though. People be talk, think I'm talking about my ex. They'd be like, I want to see that. Uh, the chick face, who he wrote this about, I want to wish he had, nah. <laughs> uh, who so it wasn't about no woman, huh? Nah. Probably a couple of the lines. Probably. I don't know. I just be saying whatever come to my head, bro. Yeah. It didn't work out. Did you know it was going to take off when you got uploaded, or you just, just another just song? Doing it. I was just doing it. I just felt like, I'm like, yeah. It just made me happy, just doing the shit. I liked it. It was funny as fuck. So yeah. Dez was like, man, you got to drop it right now. You got to drop it right now. I'm like, I dropped it, and that motherfucker went up. Yeah. It's still going up. I dropped this song five years ago, bro, and it's still going up. Yep. It ain't no time limit on it, like, you know what I'm saying? So, Classic songs do that. Yeah, man, but that timeless I hate music. it. I, I hate it that, that that was the one that blew up because I got other songs that's way better than that, and I mm -hmm. put more time and effort into it, and that one was so effortless and it blew up like that. Hmm. You know, so it don't make no sense to me. Yeah, yeah, but so, a lot of shit don't make sense. It, it, if it worked, just stick with it. Nah, for real. Like the yeah. fans gonna pick your your hits. Yeah, for sure. That's what all artists say. It's like you can't pick. Yeah, your you hit. can't pick it, bro. You could put a million dollars behind something. And the fans would be like, that's your wacky song. Like, you know what I'm saying? And this song that you put out before you even blew up, they'd be like, yeah, that's the one. That's the like, bro, like, how? This one, Mix Master. I got fucking Friggy on here or some shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? I got Bruno Mars on this song and shit. Y'all hate this song, but y'all like this one I recorded in the garage. Yeah, that you just fucking around. But me just fucking around, you know what I'm saying? Effortless. Like, yeah. you can't never really pick them. Yep. So, you just dropped the video yesterday, man. Yeah. Four or five years later. I can't imagine that was the plan when you dropped the song. So what happened? Where, why did the video take so long? It was a challenge, bro. And I wanted it to be right. Like, it kept blowing up. So like, I, I got an idea. I was like, I want to do everything I say I hope about. I want to put it in there. 
Mm. That didn't work out because it was too much money. <laughs> like that was, it was too much effort. Line, like yeah. every line, I'm like, damn, I can't do that. And then Dez that made the beat, I, I, I didn't want to leave him out of it. So he was back and forth from jail. Oh, so sure. I couldn't, so I had, I shot a video at first mm. and then Mr. was on the road doing a lot of shows and I couldn't get him. So I had these scenes with just me. And then I, I shot it again. Dez went back to jail the day, like the day before the shoot. And then he came out the day after the shoot. That's it. So we were supposed to shoot it again and somebody stole his phone the day of him getting closed for the shoot. Huh. So I ain't talked to him for like two months. Damn. Like shit just kept happening over the years. You know what I'm saying? Just, it wasn't ever right. I had to pick out the cameraman just the right time. I feel like right now, cause it's, it's still going viral. It went back viral on TikTok. Oh yeah. You know It'll go saying? viral on different social media platforms so, like every few months. I didn't right? have TikTok. When, well, we didn't have TikTok when I first dropped it. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So TikTok makes shit bigger. So I'm like, not a perfect time to yeah. really get down. It was a challenge though, but I finally put it out yesterday though. So yeah, pat myself on the back. Nah, there you man. go, man. Yeah. Did you really rock bottom that kid, man? <laughs> oh, that was my homeboy, uh, son. He told me to do it. Yeah, he, that shit his name hilarious. Bubba, he crazy. He doing movies and shit though. Um, For real? Yeah, the little one I slam. Oh, okay. He so he used minutes. to the act the type Yeah, shit. so he was like, slam me. He just said I'm like, man, you crazy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man, so I think he only dropped one song this whole year, right? Am I tripping? I think it was uh, the Posted in the Hood, like at the beginning of the year. Yeah, that's really it. Yeah. Man, I got so many songs, bro. And like I said, I just got a team, so it's kind of hard, bro. I got like over 4,000 some songs. Really? Yeah, for sure. God damn. But it's kind of hard picking through that. You know what I'm saying? So it's hard, bro. I mean, it's yeah, you hard. got 4,000. It's, it's like, going to take you a month like, just to listen to them. So bro. like Posted in the Hood was like one I just kept listening to on a regular, uh, everyday basis. So I just like, I'm going to shoot a little quick video for yeah. it. Like I say, I just been winging it. I never really had a plan, so. And I don't feel like nothing changed. Like, ever since I started, it just been the same. I get my shows, I do my features, I still make my money. Like, it's nothing that's really going down. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people, be, they got a lot of people that be like, well, you fell off on your own. How? Cause I just, I wouldn't, I never really posted. I don't got that many videos. Yeah. I probably got like, 13 videos all in total, like my whole rap career. I've been rapping five years. Like, shit, shit going cool, like, but yeah. I want it to go better now. I don't want to do this forever. I don't want to do this forever. I want to get into the acting shit. Oh, for real? Yeah. I can see that working for you too, man. Yeah, we just shot a movie. Really? Yup, it's called Heartless. Hmm. Got a lot of people in there. I can't say, I'll wait till the trailer come out. Huh. Let everybody see it though, but it's dope though. What, what's your character like? I play, uh. I play a brother, damn, I was gonna say a name. I play a brother to somebody, and my daddy got killed at a dice game. My daddy got killed at a dice game because my brother was with a girl. Well, that's how I felt about it, but it really wasn't that. My best friend in the movie, the one that's helping me get revenge on everybody, is really the one that killed my daddy. Oh, don't give us too much now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But it's way more than that, though. Okay. So that ain't even really giving you too much. I can tell you the whole movie, and it'll still be different when you see it. Huh. So, yeah, it's coming out. Probably okay. dropping like a month or two from now. Okay, so real soon, man. Yeah. So you teased that you're about to drop your first album, yep. Lone Wolf. Yep, September 8th. Okay. Yep. So first, I'll just explain that title. Why, why Lone Wolf for this one? That's how I be feeling sometimes, bro. Like, I'm a wolf, but you know, a lot of people run with packs. I ain't never really had it, you know what I'm saying? I've always been by myself. So, at first I was gonna say Lonely Wolf, but I was like, nah, that shit corny. So I was like, Lone Wolf is on the better. Cause I'm gonna drop some merch and shit behind it. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, it yeah, needed to look right that. too, yeah. So, yeah. I got some new merch and shit dropping too. Okay. I gotta get you some shit though. Yeah. I got some new merch oh, dropping. You coming to Atlanta every week, pull up on me? Yeah, I got a, uh, a collab with Golden Denim too. Oh, for real? Yup. We gotta drop some, some um, We've been going back and forth about some ideas and shit. Huh. Yup. So that's dropping. Uh, Fall, because I want to drop some trench coats too. Okay. Yup. Yeah. Got some good shit coming up, bro. Huh. Yeah, yeah. So what type of vibes should the fans expect on the album then, man? Uh, of course I put I Hope on them. Uh, it's just like, I guess another side, like, you know what I'm saying? Like a 
a more mature, like, you know what I'm saying? Talk about a lot of shit that's going on, a lot of shit that happened, how far I came, shit like that. There's a lot of different shit on there, though. A bunch of vibes. I feel like it rolled front to back, though. Okay. I don't feel like I got no misses on it. Hmm. I, I feel like a lot of people would, too, though. Yeah, yeah. Any features on there, or what I we got, know, Mr. Um, and... Uh... I got Mr. I got OTB Fast Lane on there. Okay. I got uh, Lil Pop on there. Uh, I got this song with Blueface, but I ain't put it on there. I'm gonna mm -hmm. wait till after this one drop. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Just kind of gets people some some shit to listen to. You know what I'm saying? Since I ain't the drop first album, I want to kind of. I got a lot of shit with a lot of people though. You know yeah. what I'm saying? In the vault, mm -hmm. but I'm just gonna drop it like one step at a time. I don't want to just overload it. How'd you link up with Blueface? Was that like uh, in the Cash studio? Money. Again? Yeah, I seen them. Uh, when I was at I was at the Hit Factory like every day. Okay. I seen fucking Timberland, Blueface, like oh, everybody. That's when I first met uh, Young Thug. Hmm. Yeah. Like I just walk outside with my slippers and shit. You know they got the basketball goal outside, yeah, yeah. and niggas would just be out there shooting and shit. That's how I used to meet a lot of people. Oh, I go outside, smoke or something, just take a little break. And then people would just be pulling up or people would be outside shooting the ball, just talking and shit. So. That's a good networking place. No, oh, absolutely, yeah, man. Yeah. So everyone, if you go in Miami, you pretty much recorded there. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah, a lot of people, bro. Yeah. That nigga Kanye came there one time and gave everybody Yeezys, bro. Like for on some real? random shit. I had just got, I had, I went home, I came back. They had everybody just scrambling through these bags and shit. They like, man, Kanye came here, gave everybody Yeezys. They was like, they got something in the bag. It was like a fucking side 13. I couldn't do nothing with that shit, dog. Did you take it though? Nah, I ain't take it. I left. I was pissed <laughs> off. Should've flipped him, man. I'm like, damn, bro. He came and just dropped off Buku bags up. That's, I think that's the day uh, him and Millie did the song. Oh, for real? Yeah. That's it. I got a song with Millie, too. For real? Yeah. I've been fucking with Millie since like, since that nigga had like 2,000 followers, dog. Damn. I've been locked in with Millie. Yeah, did yeah. Did you get in the studio with Millie? Uh, no, but he sent me a song from jail, though. Oh, for real? Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. whole situation he going through is crazy. Man. Yeah, bro. It's, it's weird, bro. Yeah. I don't even understand it. Yeah. I don't understand it. That's one, that's one thing I just can't understand. That's crazy, bro. Yeah. Uh, going back to the album, who were some of the producers you worked with on here? Uh, Marcus Music. Uh, Moot Got The Keys Jumping. Hmm. Drum Dummy. I got some from uh, Duke on the track. I got some from Be Real. Uh, who else on there? I think that's it. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Oh, I got some production on there too. Oh, for real? Yeah, like every other one. Hmm. Yeah, for sure. I know how to make beats, but I'm just lazy. Bro. I was say, how long you been making beats? I didn't even Since know. Since I've been DJing. For real? Yeah, it's all the same. Yeah. All patterns and just sound and shit, so. Yeah. No, that's hard right there. Yeah. So you got the new uh, situation with Create Music, right? Mm -hmm. So how did that come about? Uh, I was going through distribution with these people at one time. They sold their company, so like it don't even matter. It don't even matter for me to even speak on them. They sold their company, but Create bought it, so okay. they kind of like got some of my songs with it. Mm -hmm. So in the transition, uh, of my songs getting switched over to Create, they reached out to me. And we just started, we had been talking for like back and forth two years. Uh, and it was like, if you ever got some music, you know, new music that you want to drop, we could put it on the catalog or whatever on the, on, on the portal and we could drop it for you. Hmm. So it was one of those situations I was ready to drop. And then um, Gutter TV, my homeboy. Mm -hmm. Shout I, out to Gutter, Yeah, man. you know, so we always, we talk like every day, even before, like he, he my, he my manager now, like, you know what I'm saying? Like with the, with my business stuff. So he wasn't always that. We just used to have conversations. He used to give me game. So he kind of put a word in too. And it was like, oh, well y'all working together? Well, let's get on this, like ASAP. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's get you a tape out, like, let's do this. And I was amazed at how fast it was. Like, it wasn't a long process at all. Like, they was on it. Like his music already over here. His songs here, we got him. We ain't got to do too much, you know what I'm saying? So like, let's, let's run it, like, yeah. you know? Like Sound like it was running. a perfect fit. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Like yeah, everything fell together though. That's yeah, hard yeah. right there, man. Yeah, yeah. No fans Shout out gonna to happy to hear that shit finally dropping too. Man, man, bro. Yeah, I know they happy though. <laughs> they been on me, bro. I got I got somebody in my DM say he gonna hold my mama for ransom if, <laughs> if I don't drop nothing, dog. So I gotta say to my mama, I gotta drop this you shit. Gotta dog. Save <laughs> I gotta drop it. this shit. 
Yeah, bro. How do you deal with like online trolls, man? Because I even saw you repost one of the comments from yesterday, man. That right there, let them embarrass themselves, repost them. <laughs> you just embarrassing yourself. I don't need it. Every time I go back and forth with somebody on Instagram, I get blocked for 30 days. So they be for talking real? about they're going to suspend my account. Or be I can't, them, huh? they I can't them monetize some something on Instagram. So I just stop arguing with them and I just post them now. Yeah. And I just kind of not, not cuss on there or something. I just kind of say something. Man, IG so strict with they shit, but yeah, you know man. us, we on our fourth page. So. I told, I told, I just got unblocked like two days ago. I told my homeboy, I'm, I'm going to hit you. Like, I'm going to call you on the phone. Yeah. They was like, oh, you're speaking violent. I'm like, bro, I just told the dude. So I had to, re- I had to uh, send it for a review. Yeah. They sent it back. They was like, all right, we made a mistake, but they still took my life for 30 days. For real? Yeah, so I'm like, damn, bro, y'all need to get it together. They I feel like it's just animated at this point. Like, just keywords or something that just block you. And, you yeah. Know, but I don't want to get my page to. No, you so can't, man. As I an artist, that's like Sometimes, your livelihood right there. Yeah. Man. So I made, I got my, I be doing, I be trolling off my, uh, my merch page sometimes too. Oh, for real? Yeah, cause <laughs> I, I don't really be tripping on that one. They don't say nothing about it on that one. So yeah. I just be trolling off that page. Yeah. I, I dig it, man. <laughs> uh, what's your thoughts on the, the music scene of BR today, man? You guys came a long way these last five, six years since you, since you jumped into it. Yeah, we came a long way, but we still got a long way to go, bro. Mm-hmm. We still got a long way to go, bro. It's different though. Like, see how everybody like, if you go like Memphis, you can name 30 artists there that they don't even probably don't like each other, but they still got music with each other. Or, you know what I'm saying? Like they still not trying to kill one another. You know what I'm saying? Like Baton Rouge is not that. It's like a bunch of dogs with no leash. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like a bunch of pit bulls with no leash no training like you know what i'm saying like it's just it's just it ain't got no structure you know what i'm saying but it's getting there they got certain groups of people that's, that's trying to put it together you know what i'm saying i'm one of the ones i hope i hope i can see all of us work together one day yeah. because a lot of the talent coming from them we got one of the number one rappers in the fucking world like you know what i'm saying but we got it's a lot of talent though bro we just got to get it together yeah you know i feel like we're gonna get it right one day though it's gonna get there. Yeah, because I want to say you probably worked with a everybody. good number of everyone in the everybody. city. You know? Everybody. I embrace a lot of stuff too, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, new stuff, old stuff, like the OGs. I try to just get anybody that, 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 that I really see grinding or, you know what I'm saying? Just, just networking, bro, at the end of the day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I feel like the more people that I work with that probably had a run, still having a run, gonna have a run. That's how many fans that you get, you know what I'm saying? So if they got 100 people and they got five fans apiece, you gain the fans from everybody. Nah, absolutely. You know what I'm saying? So now you could pack out a stadium, you know what I'm saying? Hmm. So that's how I look at shit. You know, you can, grab, you can grab four, five, six fans from each person that you, you know, that they're going to really fuck with you. Like, damn, this dude dope, you know what I'm saying? So I just try to keep it loop like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right there, man. yeah, yeah. You got any uh, advice you want to share to the youth coming up right now today? Man, get your business straight, first of all. That's, that's top. Get your business straight. Before you do anything, before you drop that music, man, if you got some hot shit going right now, you got a song going viral, because you're going to be whining about how you ain't getting paid from TikTok and how YouTube don't want to pay you, but how they going to pay you when they don't know where to send the checks to? Mm-hmm. Like, niggas be scared to put their real name on stuff and want to put little hot potato on the on the thing so they can't you can't cash no chicken for say little hot potato especially if you ain't got like no llc or nothing to show that that's your business name like you know what i'm saying you're gonna be fucked you're gonna be mad so yeah. get your business straight like that's the main that's top priority yeah, yeah that's a good game right there man. yeah for sure yeah. i gotta ask you this man anyone ever say you look like victor oladipo man who the hell is that the basketball player man i don't know who that dude is you look just like him, who the fuck is that <laughs> <laughs> Who is that? You show me him. I ain't, no, you gotta show me him. What is his name is? <laughs> you say Victor Valentino? You know who that is? He look like him. <laughs> who the fuck is that? Hold on, let me look. Show him. <laughs> 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 come on, man. No, man, that dude look like me for real. <laughs> Bro, oh shit! <laughs> Am I tripping now? 
<laughs> dog, man, turn that picture off, dog. <laughs> man, that's the first. You, that shit spot on, though. Damn. He Haitian, too, I think. He Haitian? Yeah. And my daddy, I don't know shit about it, though. I know I like <laughs> oxtails, though. I don't know if that's Jamaican or Haitian, but them motherfuckers, that's like my favorite, though. Yeah. Like, that yeah. Accent, like yeah. my daddy and his, I don't know them like that, though. Like, yeah. I ain't been around them in years. I talked to my daddy probably like, my daddy old, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you mentioned he had like 16 kids. Yeah, you like. one of the, the youngest side of that? I'm or? the youngest out of oh, both. Earth? My mama side and my daddy's side. So I talked to my sisters and shit more than, I only talked to one of my sisters more than I talked to everybody else. Huh. But like, they. Full. They Haitian, like, they do that shit. I'm always getting, every time you talk to me, try to preach to me and shit, like. For real. I be seeing the TikToks where they be like, Haitian parents and shit, but my daddy act like that. But I hang the phone up, cause I don't really know you like that. You can't fuss at me, I'm a grown ass man. You should have been trying <laughs> yeah, to do that. It's now, too late right? for that. Try to play daddy, like, what's up, thug? Like. <laughs> you got any kids, Jay? No, nah, I ain't got none yet. Okay. None yet. When I have some, I'm gonna be rolling though. I'm, I'm, I'm working till, the, till that bitch stop working. Yeah. <laughs> till it fall off, dog. All right, Jay, before we get you out of here, man, you got any shout outs you like to give uh, before we wrap it up here, man? Oh, yeah, man. I got introduce y'all to my videographer here. Hey, Kobe. Oh, Kobe. He on the phone again. <laughs> he been on the phone. That's why he, he was up. He was back we, up. We set up the chair and everything. He set up boy. the chair and everything. It looked like I ain't got no friends or nothing. <laughs> He want to come in it. He been caking, the cake master. Shout out uh, the whole, shout out to Create. Shout out to God. Shout out to my nigga Gutter. My nigga Kobe, shout out to Big Slay, you hear me? My whole team, you hear me, all my dogs. Uh, and I know my mama knows that it's going to be watching this because she watch everything. For real. Yeah, so shout out to you because I know you're going to send me this and be like, why you put me out there like that? So <laughs> shout out to her too, bro. Yeah. I'm out here doing pretty good for myself, a nigga came a long way A double cup, I poured four cause I done had a long day She fuck with me, she got my back, I fuck with her the 